Zoho Campaigns Tutorial for Beginners, how to use and send campaigns on Zoho. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with sending out your own email marketing campaigns using Zoho. So let's get into it. Now, the first step that you're going to take to get started with Zoho campaigns is to log into your Zoho account and then click on access Zoho campaigns. Now to sign up, all you need is a email address and create a suitable password to proceed with your sign up on Zoho. Now we're going to agree to take ourselves in to Zoho campaigns. And over here, you're going to see there are going to be certain onboarding questions. This includes your full name as well as your phone number. Now, once you've completed your phone number and your business address, you're going to add some more info about your industry as well as the number of people that are employed or currently in your industry. So we're going to click on next and then we can skip and we can opt for migration if you are migrating from another email marketing tool. Now, once we have completed that, we will be led to our dashboard on Zoho campaigns. So the best part about using Zoho is that Zoho has a suite for all of their business tools. It includes things like CRM, project management, sales, and much, much more. So instead of having to use multiple different tools or multiple different business segmentations, then you can opt for just one simple tool that is going to do it all. Plus Zoho has all its suites separated, so you can use them interchangeably or use them all together. Now, moving on, this is our dashboard on Zoho campaigns. You will see on the left, you have a panel and in this panel, you have access to campaigns, contacts, automations, e-commerce, libraries, and your reports. These sectionings make it easier for you to access any of your particular elements. If you click on each individual section, you will see a further drop-down menu will appear. So you have things such as lists, topics, services and segments, sign-up forms, contact scoring, and tags that can help you in categorizing your newsletter or your email subscribers. Then you also have different automations that you can set up. Automations can be really helpful when you are trying to ensure that your email is going to be sent out at the right time to the right person. Below that, you also have e-commerce integration features. So if you run a Shopify store and you want to send a abandoned cart email whenever someone goes to the checkout but doesn't complete their payment, then you can integrate e-commerce sections over here to build those types of automations. Below that, you have a library. Over here, you can store email templates, add your brand images, build workflow templates, form templates, and other attachments. And you can later on access these whenever you want or add them as you go in any of your campaigns. And below that, you have your reporting section, which can also be connected with Google Analytics to get better data about how your email campaigns are performing. Now let's start building our first email campaign. To do that, go into campaigns and then go into email campaigns. Once you go into email campaigns, click on create campaign over here. Now you will see there are multiple different types of campaigns. Firstly, you have a regular email, which is honestly going to be 90% of your mail. Then you have A-B testing. A-B testing is where you send out two variations of the same email. However, there's only going to be one factor that is going to be different. Then you can see which one performs better and to the rest of your subscriber list, you can send the version that performed better in your initial send out. You also have RSS, Zoho meetings, Zoho surveys, survey monkeys, event buy, Zoho backstage, coupons, e-commerce, and Zoho forms. Now we're gonna click on create new on the regular email and I'll show you guys how you can build campaigns on Zoho. So I will add a welcome to Ruffles campaign, which is going to primarily be a welcome email and a thank you email. So firstly, I'm going to add a subject. So our subject is going to be welcome to Ruffles and the preheader is going to be thanks for subscribing to our newsletter like this and then click on save. 
Now you will have the option to personalize this as well. Now, what does personalization mean? Well, personalization means that you can add the contact first name or last name or their email address or their X handle if that is available or their Facebook handle if that is available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the contact first name, welcome, comma, welcome the person's name, and I'll just click on personalize on the right. Then I'm going to select contact first name. Then after the money sign, I'm going to add a comma, and then it's going to say welcome the person's name to Ruffles. Then I'll click on save on the bottom. Now, once I have done that, we are going to proceed on to the next step, which is setting up our sender email address and then our recipient email address. So we're going to add our sender details. Your sender details are supposed to be your email that you are using for your business. You will see that there is a DMARC policy published for this domain. You have to make sure that your sender address is a business address, not a at Gmail address. For a trial basis, you can choose to proceed with a simple email address of your own. You can also base this on the custom field. So you have the first name, last name, alternate sender name as well. Now, I highly recommend that you choose a business email address such as jane at store. So whatever email address you have, you want to use that like so. Now, you will see that you can add a sender address by clicking on this like so, and then you will get your email address that you can add. So once you've done that, we're just going to click on save to verify that. So we are just going to proceed with our verification. And then after that, we can click on create content to get started with actually building the core content of our email. Now you can do this in two ways. You can either use basic templates that are just really simple layouts, or you can use pre-designed templates. Now these are fully designed templates that are basically have all the content in them and you edit and remove the content from the sample and then customize it to make it your own. But if you find that a bit too overwhelming and you wanna keep it neat and simple, you can go with a layout. Plus additionally, you always have the option to get started with a plain text editor. So you can send out a plain text email as well. However, I do recommend you either use a layout or use a template. So I'll use this simple layout over here and I'll just click on select template to get started. This is a single column layout, so it's not going to be that difficult to design either. Now, moving on towards our email editor, it's a really simple email editor on Zoho. On the left, you have multiple different elements that you can drag and drop. So let's say I want to add image plus text in these like three columns. And if I just click on this, it will appear at the bottom. To delete any element on the right, you're going to hover your mouse over the black icon and then click on delete and then click on delete once more. Now on the top left, I'll click on the header and then from the left side, you will see a menu pop up. Over here, you're going to click on change and change your logo image. To upload your logo images, simply click on upload and then click on upload from your computer. From here, you can go on ahead and choose the image that you want to use as your logo image like so. Make sure that your logo is in the form of a GIF or a PNG. Now, if you don't have a logo already, you can just go ahead and take this logo section. So instead of the logo, you can click on add text. And then on the left side, you're going to add your brand name. And then you can also choose the brand font or a font that is similar enough to your brand font. You can also customize the color and make it bold, italic, as well as underlined. You can also adjust the spacing for the letters, line spacing, opacity, rotation, and shadows. Once completed, click on save and close on the top right to save your changes. And your new logo is going to appear in a couple of seconds. Make sure to click on done on the left when you're making changes. Once completed, you can move towards the second section. To do that, simply click on the section and you can highlight the text and then remove it. Type in your own text and once you have completed your email editing, click on proceed on the top right. This will save your content and then you can send out emails using Zoho. You can also preview and test these by sending them out to yourself to see what the delivered email is going to look like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.